gifts that were given. That was also something that was common. So I have all these crystals that I've had to bless it. I'm just placing them on my drum right now. Oh, I think I'm going to place them up here. Oops, candle. Place them up here. Um, in the cup, I have red wine and pisco. The pisco is the masculine, the sacred masculine, and it uh, signifies the symbolizes the Andes Mountains. And the red is for the feminine, for Pachamama. All right, so what do you do for a despacho? <clears throat> Take a piece of paper. I have all these envelopes here with things. And I also have this paper where I have more things. So basically you want to take a piece of paper. Oftentimes they do it just with newspaper. But here I have tissue, the same tissue that we wrap all our um, every, all our art, all our art sales. And I actually will all start showing you these things in a minute, but I let me move them around a little bit. I'm just going to take away the stones, the crystals, because don't, those will not be part of this ritual. So all these stones, the amethyst, all these stones will be put to the side. <clears throat> okay, let me take a, I going to take a sip of water, but I don't have any might be forced to take a sip away. <laughs> um, okay. <clears throat> so, so at the spacho, there um, is a tradition ceremony from the Andes. So all types of uh, cultures throughout the world have different uh, similar ceremonies and um, you know you're creating something beautiful out of nature out of things that are around you in a form of doing um, an offering of gratitude to honoring changes to honor transformations and most than anything to say thank you to Pachamama. So she's really at the center of this. And there's traditional ways of making each despacho and traditional ingredients. But the most important thing is that you add your own personal love and intention and symbolism so this is this is like shamanic magic really so you know just be present know that it's your intention and your love that you're pouring into it um, you can use any image i'm using pachamama oh i almost forgot the most important ingredient here So we need sugar for your first layer of your despacho. And if you can have something small, I'm going to try to make it small. 
and actually start here and I'm going to create a cross with my sugar to signify the four directions and then I'm going to create a circle around my cross for the sacred feminine. So that is my lower layer, which is my foundation. And indeed, Pachamama, the four elements, and the goddess are my foundation. So that is the first first layer. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and put Pachamama right there in the center. Now, you can, you can go ahead and use other things that you want to work with that represent foundations in, in your life. So, so, I'm going to go ahead and use, um, I'm looking for uh, some, I have a little bit of black rice. So I'm using a little bit of black rice to signify some of the things that haven't been easy in the past year. <clears throat> then I'm going to go ahead and add some some seeds so I'm going to plant seeds some flower seeds on top of the the rice for the lessons and the growth from those difficulties I'm also going to use these seeds to represent seashells of the mamacocha. So you're basically telling a story as you build it. It's a personal personal story you can collect things and just kind of create from things you have you can add things like candy to add sweetness to your life and to thank Bachamama for all the sweet moments in your life. I have, um, what are these called? They're called um, castañas in Spanish. I can't remember what they're called. Um, 
but I found them in my neighborhood. And here they are representing gratitude for the everyday, the ordinary, the ordinary, everyday, beautiful blessings. So you just keep adding things that are meaningful to you. So for example, I have here in my little bag um, these little flowers, which I include, we include with all our sales too. So these are um, in gratitude to Bachamama for all the blessings the, the past, the blessings of this past year, and with gratitude and the blessings that are to come. I have acorns. Or the little hats of acorns. And that is gratitude for my home. I'm so blessed to have be able to have two homes and spend time between Chile and the US. To so have a warm roof over my head and have friends that receive me and share with me. Then I have this acorn. Think about what you have. You know, what does it represent? An acorn, um, it represents family and friends that are family. Beautiful. What else do I have here? I have lavender. So such lavender, the sweet ease and joy of life, all the nature, the beautiful nature that Pachamama gives us all year round, the snow in the winter and the flowers and the leaves. I have sage leaves for health and cleansing, for healing. So whatever you're intending, keep thinking about it for the new year, maybe about your goals. But it's, the main thing is gratitude. What do these ingredients represent for you? So the spatchos, your dispatch is always going to be different. They will all always one be different from the other. I have some cacao here. Some raw cacao. Pachamama loves raw cacao. You can take three of these leaves, three bay leaves, 
and I would do this if I were doing this privately. Every time that I put one down, you blow on the leaves. Blow your intention on the leaves. Or you could do it at the end, which is what I'm going to do right now, and which is just... Well, I don't think I'm done yet, actually. I want to go ahead and do a flower right there. But look look at everything in your dispatch. Think about your symbolism. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to meditate on it. Here we go. I'm going to use these leaves. And uh, I'll meditate on it, looking on it, blowing on the leaves, my intention onto the despacho, meditating on each thing that I've placed down here, um, looking at how beautiful what I created is. Oops. You keep three leaves. So you want to keep the three bay leaves, which is what you're going to work with. Okay. So when you know that you're finished... Dip them in some pisco. Dip them in some wine. You will also use butter, or usually it's llama lard. That's especially if you're going to burn it. So some people bury it. I'm going to eventually burn it. So this will, the lard is, it's a blessing again from Mother Earth, from the animals. And um, it helps it burn clean. Because you want to stay with it and watch the whole thing burn. Okay, so <clears throat> so what we'll do now, what I'll do now, is take my three leaves and meditate and blow into my leaves every time I think of an intention of what each one of these things that I place here mean. So you look into it, see your whole complete prayer, your complete intention, what you're hoping to manifest. When you're done, you're going to fold it up. You want to fold in the right for masculine, left for feminine. Then you bring heaven down to earth and earth to meet heaven. Then you will tie it up Wine. (laughs) 
so you will wrap it up oops I should not have turned it over because some of the sugar spilled but that's okay and then you will want to wrap it in a altar cloth and actually it said here can you please pass me um, a purple one of our altar cloths thank you and you will wrap it up in an altar cloth. So you can keep this for a few days. You can use it as medicine to bless, bless yourself, bless other people, your pets, keep it on your altar. You can keep it out in the moon to absorb energy and then bring it inside. Use it to clear your body. Use it to clear other people's energy and friends. When you feel it is time to let go of the despacho, then you can hold a fire ceremony. That's why by the way, I peeled the candy because we want to give this back to the Pachamama. You can also bury it and let it go back into, into the dirt, into the earth, into Pachamama. So be, be conscientious of what things you're putting in here. And remember that fire is a path to very quick transformation. So making your gifts with fire is pretty powerful. So you give an offering of everything that you're grateful for in your past and your future. Gratitude is the quickest way for your dreams to come true. Remember, when you let go of your despacho, just like with anything else in manifesting, let it go. So you burn it or you bury it and then you let it go. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope that you will make your own despacho. Remember, you can keep all your items in an envelope. You can keep them together over time and, uh, and then come and do a despacho for whatever you need it, need it for. So let's go ahead and close sacred space. Let's close our sacred, beautiful sacred space on this beautiful full moon and winter solstice. But remember, you can make a despacho at any time. A beautiful.
beautiful, beautiful multi-layered gifts. Gifts of gratitude. Ooh, they are thank you gifts. Oh, I was burning my feather. So. Mama for reminding us that everything around us is alive just like my burning feather in the live fire just like alive as is our offering to Bacha Mama alive as is our magic and our power you will use a despacho to mark special days and transitions.